marriage, time, balance, anger, frustration, we have it all and you can solve it. In this podcast, I'm going to share with you exactly how to do that, how to get started on really transforming your marriage, transforming your relationships and really redressing the balance. You know, many of us, we've been struggling for years and years because we're so busy with our lives that we can't give our relationships what it requires and we end up in a lot of anger frustration argumentation and it really causes an imbalance in the home where the love just disappears and if you're ready to change that in this podcast i'm going to share with you the keys and the foundations to making that happen stay tuned Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Muslim Mind Health and Wealth Podcast. I'm Abdul Shaheed, founder of the Muslim Life Coach Institute and the Science of the Nafs Psychology. In this podcast, I'll share with you tools, tips and strategies in changing your mental health, your emotional health, relationship healing and love and how to thrive in life with a Quranic connection. I used to struggle myself with understanding life and myself having emotional highs and lows and that would sabotage me but fast forward today I run this institute and this professional community of entrepreneurs who are actively overcoming every challenge, anxiety, anger, emotional turbulence and they're building relationships they love. If you are an ambitious individual and you're ready to thrive, you're in the right place and you're going to love this. Let's get into this. Assalamu alaikum. Hey and welcome, welcome folk. This is an important episode in the saga of your marriage, your relationship and uh, and I know I'm dramatizing this a little bit but really if you want to overcome the obstacles in any relationship, what I'm going to be discussing with you today is is paramount in fact it is such a gem when you apply it into your life you're going to find that it actually helps you to overcome many of the obstacles that you thought previously unsolvable and i want to suggest to you and this is something i'm going to be teaching in the marriage transformation program that we begin next week and it's really more than a marriage transformation but it's a total relationship mastery program and what I'm going to be discussing and teaching and training on and coaching on starting next week is the possibility of creating relationships life and a state of emotional leadership where you actually get to live the life that you want without everyone on the outside thinking everything's great and everyone on the inside knowing it's not so great and you know like the the gap between the inside and the outside is very very much something that we struggle with so much and very often many of us and I know many of my clients who are like really high functioning individuals who are out there trying to create amazing stuff in the world like what we struggle with is that we struggle with the state of disconnect between what's really happening inside and what's happening outside and when I say inside what's happening inside of us like the very thing that no one wants to talk about no one wants to deal with especially if you are a high achiever if you're someone who works extremely hard to make life happen is you don't want to talk about how your feelings are causing you serious problems. You don't want to talk about how anger and resentment just doesn't go away. You don't want to talk about how you don't feel loved and appreciated, no matter what you do. And this is actually so, so relevant when it comes to marriage. And why am I talking about this? Because one of the things that you need to really inject into your relationship is time. And here's the thing, when when we think about time, what people think is that, well, who on earth has actually got the time to be doing this anyway? Like, I'm so busy keeping my life together, keeping all, you know, all of these plates spinning in my life, you know, this project and that project and this business and that uh, relationship is actually, all of it, when it comes together, creates overwhelm. All of it when it comes together actually creates this loneliness where you know you don't really want people to know how you feel 
And this is something that many of us struggle with. Like, and I'm talking to you, high functioning people, like you who are out there creating stuff in the world, like really doing things, working hard, like juggling all, all, all of the things that you juggle. And yet you don't feel appreciated by your spouse. You don't feel appreciated by your children because you feel as though, you know, they don't appreciate all your hard work, all the things you do for them. And there is a real disconnect between the amount of time that we spend and actually building a relationship. And let me just get to the crunch. You probably don't spend enough time on your relationship. There you go. Like if that hit you in the gut like a football then you really really know what I'm talking about now I understand this because myself you know this is something that I've had to really grapple with over the years until I came to resolving it until I created a balance where you know my life started to turn around now turn around doesn't mean I wasn't doing great already but turn around meant that you know what is perceived as great on the outside Ha is not congruent with what's on the inside so turning around is turning around on the inside actually feeling the balance and the calm inside of us feeling appreciated feeling like connected in our relationships you can't do that without time so if you are making all of your time available for everything but your relationships then the one thing that's going to suck the one thing that's going to really like hit rock bottom like really feel the pinch as though you've got nothing is that relationship because no matter how many things we do and i sent out an email just recently if you're on my email list it, well it, actually if you're not on my email list you want to get on there because i said share some serious gems on there so anyway one of the things i sent uh shared on my email list and and if you want to check that out go to the muslim life coach dot org forward slash pro pro because we are into becoming professionals folk so one of the things I shared, I digress as usual, is that we actually don't value the relationships and we give it and, and we give all of the value of our time to everything but the relationships. And as a result, what happens is that the relationship suffers, you feel disconnected, um, you don't feel appreciated no matter how much you work, and then you think you can fix it by going on holiday, buying gifts, like building an extension in your home, and you do all of that, and then you sit in the extension by yourself, or your spouse or your kids sit in there having a good time, but you can't sit in there together having a good time, because extensions are not built by bricks and mortar, oh sorry, sorry, <laughs> extensions are built with bricks and mortar relationship is built with love compassion and time if you don't put love compassion and time into your relationships then what's going to happen is you're just going to build an extension and really <laughs> i i know i say this and i know that that might trigger you and that might make you feel as though you know i'm doing the best i can i really really am doing the best i can like you got to ask yourself the question what are you doing the best you can at is it the building of your home the building of your extension the go, you know the buying of gifts or is it the building of your relationships because the building of relationships folk it requires you to give it time if you don't give it time then time will surpass it will fly by and one day you will wake up and you will think to yourself no one wants to spend time with me my wife doesn't want to spend time with me. My husband doesn't want to spend time with me. They, they don't appreciate me. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Like uh, my kids, um, they, they're forever with other people. They don't want to really sit and talk. And the reason it is, and, and I know it's painful. Like I want you to just, uh, just really just think about what I'm saying without, you know, switching paws and running off and like having a, you know, pulling out your hair session and if you're like me, you've got no hair to pull out. So, you know, you don't want to be crying. You don't want to be, you just want to be thinking about what I'm sharing. Like, think about what I'm sharing. What I am saying is that you can repair, heal, grow, and love your relationships. But you can't do it by saying, I haven't got time. You can't do it 
by building an extension. You can't do it by going on holiday because while you're on holiday, you're going to have a great time. All but you know, like albeit you're going to you're going to have makeup time, and after the makeup time is over. You're going to come back to a normal life and then you get back into your work. You get back into your business. You get back into the running affairs of your life. And once you're in the affairs of your life, you're so busy, you're back to normal. And this is what we do, folk. I know that this is something that we struggle with. And really, it's not that we don't have time. We just allocate our time to everything but our lives everything but the things that we want the most we want to have great relationships you want to feel loved you want to experience affection you want to give affection and you want to actually connect to your spouse you want to actually connect to your kids you want to connect to the people that are in the nucleus of your home because that's what makes it home the relationships like the bricks and mortar don't make it home it's the relationships that make it home it's the relationships that make it fun it's that that you will love and so what i suggest is that you you know really take a step back and make a decision that your life your life is really important and the quality of your life is really important and the quality of your life is going to be connected to how you relate to the people around you and this is really important and the more you are willing to do this the more you will actually love your life now this is a process that's very simple to talk about i know like i'm talking about it right now and i know it's difficult to implement i know listen you know i understand i deal with this stuff daily i've been dealing with it for myself for a long time before i came to a solution and and i deal with it with my clients until they you know redress the balance and then create relationships that they love create a family life that they actually want to you know look forward to not just you know for the summer holidays or the christmas holidays but they actually want to spend the weekends with their kids they want to actually make time for their family members they want to come home from work to see their family and this is when you start to love your life you can create that now how do we do that in the nuffs coaching school right now starting next week i am just, you know we are going to begin relationship mastery and transformation this is the most powerful training you will ever go through in your life it, you cannot find this in anything else in fact like the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us and this is what we're using we are using the science of the nafs which is a quran and sunnah based framework and methodology for up leveling every area of life specifically relationships and so we begin on this path of transformation and it is so simple and it requires no work but it requires you to put the time in like and when we talk time we're talking about like put the minimum amount of time in you know when you you put time in to eat every day if you want your body to grow you've got to eat so if you want your relationships to grow you've got to give it food and food requires you know eating time so that means you need to give it eating time and if you do that what's going to happen is that you're going to see yourself grow you're going to your, your relationships are going to become nourished and not malnourished your relationships are going to start to grow and then what's going to happen is that you're going to feel strong and fit your relationship will be strong and fit and when it's like that then before you know it you are loving the days and the nights and the weekends and you don't have to wait for the holiday to make your relationships good you don't have to you know do all of the things that we do the escape behavior that we have in order to escape our relationships and when you do this you're going to love your relationships so here's the thing like you are never going to grow your relationship unless you're willing to allocate it time um time is your life your life is your relationships and your time you really want to make the most of that and uh and i know that a lot of what i'm talking about here is very deep like i know it's deep because this is exactly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us he gives us a solution that changes us at the core 
it helps us to grow beyond anything we imagine possible and we begin next week on turning the impossible into possible that's the very first lesson we're going to be jumping into turning the impossible into possible because what you see as an impossible relationship to fix is truly fixable is truly something that you can turn around and you're going to love the journey because the whole point of relationships is that you experience love so i want to leave you on that if you want to join us on that program you want to go to the muslim life coach dot org org forward slash live like really we're going to live into our lives so we begin next week and this is the this is the time of your life truly this is the time of your life and we're going to be we're only open for this week and then we close so you want to join us you want to make this life of yours your relationships a relationship and a life that you love and that's what we're going to begin on next week i want to leave you on that jazakallah Hey, if you're loving this podcast and you're ready to make your dreams a reality and you want the mentoring and the support and the direction to create real calm, to create real results and to create real mental health and wealth in your life, then join us on the Nafs Transformation Journey. This is the Quranic Science of the Nafs School of Life. You're going to learn to love your life in ways you've never done before. Go to The Muslim Life Coach the the muslim life coach dot org org forward slash live and begin the journey of your life you're gonna love this <laughs>